Malachim Aleph, 1 Kings, chapter 14. At this time, Aviah, the son of Yaravam, fell ill. Yaravam said to his wife, Please come and disguise yourself, so that you won't be recognized as Yaravam's wife, and go to Shiloh. Achiah, the prophet, is there, the one who said that I would be king over these people. Take with you ten loaves of bread, some cakes, and a jug of honey, and go to him. He will tell you what will happen to the boy. Yarovam's wife did this. She set out, went to Shiloh, and arrived at the house of Akia. Akia could not see, because his eyes were dim with age. Adonai had told Akia, Yarovam's wife is on her way here to ask you about her son who is ill. You are to tell her thus and thus. Moreover, when she comes, she will be pretending she is another woman. When Akia heard the sound of her feet as she came in the door, he said, Enter, wife of Yarovam. Why pretend you are someone else? I've given I've been given bad news for you. Go tell Yarovam that this is what Adonai says. I raised you up from among the people, made you prince over my people Israel, tore the kingdom away from the dynasty of David, and gave it to you. In spite of this, you have not been like my servant David, who obeyed my mitzvot and followed me with all his heart, so that he could do only what I regarded as right. Rather, you have, been, you have committed more evil than anyone before you. You went and made other gods for yourself and images of cast metal to make me angry, but me you shoved behind your back. Therefore, I will now bring disaster on the house of Yarovam. I will cut off every male of Yarovam's line, whether a slave or free in Israel. I will sweep away the house of Yarovam as completely as when someone sweeps away dung until it's all gone. If someone from the line of Yarovam dies in the city, the dogs will eat him. If he dies in the countryside, the vultures will eat him, for Adonai has said it. So get up and go home. When your feet enter the city, the boy will die. All Israel will mourn him, and they will bury him. He is the only one of Yarovam's line who will lie in a grave, because he alone in the house of Yarovam has in him an element of good toward Adonai, the god of Israel. Moreover, Adonai will raise up for himself a king over Israel, who at that time will cut off the house of Yarovam. And what will God do now? Adonai will strike Israel until it shakes like a reed in the water. He will uproot Israel from this good land which he gave to their ancestors and scatter them beyond the Euphrates River, because they made sacred poles for themselves, thus making Adonai angry. He will give up on Israel because of the sins of Yarovam, which he committed himself and with which he made Israel sin as well. Yarovam's wife got up, left, and went to Tertza. The moment she reached the threshold of the house, the boy died. All Israel mourned him and buried him, in keeping with the word of Adonai spoken through his servant Achiah, the prophet. Other activities of Yarovam, how he fought and how he ruled, are recorded in the annals of the kings of Israel. Yarovam's reign lasted twenty-two years, then he slept with his ancestors, and Nadav, his son, became king in his place. Rechavam, the son of Shlomo, was reigning in Yehuda. Rechavam was 41 years old when he began to rule, and he ruled 17 years in Yerushalayim, the city Adonai had chosen from all the tribes of Israel to bear his name. His mother's name was Naama, the Ammonite. Yehuda did what was evil from Adonai's perspective. They made him angry because of their sins, which were worse than any of their ancestors had committed. For they erected high places, standing stones and sacred poles in every high hill and under every green tree. Also there were male and female cult prostitutes in the land attached to those shrines, doing all the disgusting things which the nations did that Adonai had expelled ahead of the people of Israel. In the fifth year of King Rechavam, Shishak, king of Egypt, attacked Yerushalayim. He took the treasures in the house of Adonai and the treasures in the royal palace. He took everything including all the gold shields Shlomo had made. To replace them, King Rechavah made shields of bronze, which he entrusted to the commanders of the contingent, guarding the gate to the royal palace. Whenever the king went to the house of Adonai, the guard would get the shields. Later they would return them to the guard room. Other activities of Rechavah and all his accomplishments are recorded in the annals of the kings of Yehuda. But there was continual war between Rechavah and Yarovam. Rechavah slept with his ancestors, and was buried with his ancestors in the city of David. His mother's name was Naama the Ammonite. Then Aviyam, his son, became king in his place. End of Malachim Aleph, chapter 14.